Good day kids! Our topic for today is about simple graphs, tables, and pictograph. Before we proceed to our lesson for today, I want you to identify the word being described using the guide letters. What do you call the visual representation of data? You're right, it is a graph. It is a visual representation of data in tabular form. Correct. It is tables. It gives information as to the number of objects or symbols represented. Very good. It is pictograph. Tables and graphs are a visual representation of data. They are used to show the relationships of information. They are also used to compare values in an organized way. Let us listen to the story entitled, Crinkles Sold on Mother's Day. Crinkles Sold on Mother's Day Trina's sister is a baker. She bakes different goodies and sells them to her friends and neighbors. On Mother's Day, she sold different flavors of crinkles. Here is the table of our sample problem. The title of the table is Crinkles Sold on Mother's Day. On the first column, it presents the flavors of crinkles while on the second column, it presents the number of boxes sold. In chocolate flavor, there are 18 boxes sold. In Yema, there are 13 boxes sold. 8 boxes are sold in Ube. And in Red Velvet, there are 15 boxes sold. And also in Bukopandan, there are 15 boxes sold. What is the title of the table? Correct. The title of the table is Crinkles Sold on Mother's Day. Let us proceed to our learning task 1. Answer the question based on the table. Number 1. Which number of crinkles has the most number of boxes sold? The answer is chocolate flavor. There are 18 boxes sold. Number 2. Which flavors of crinkles have the same sales? The answers are red velvet and buko pandan. They have the same 15 boxes sold. How many boxes of yema were sold? The answer is 13 boxes of Yemen were sold. Number 4. Which flavor of crinkles have the least sales? The answer is Ube. It has only 8 boxes sold. Number 5. How many boxes of crinkles were sold on Mother's Day? In order to get the answer, we are going to add the numbers of boxes sold. And the answer is 69 boxes of crinkles were sold on Mother's Day. Learning task number 2. Study the graph and answer the questions. Here is the problem for learning task number 2. The PE teacher of Sampaguita Elementary School conducted a survey of the favorite sport of the grade 3 students. The teacher asked them to choose only one among the given sports, basketball, running, football, swimming, and tennis. 
let us study the data given through a bar graph. This is an example of bar graph. The title is Favorite Sports of Grade 3 Students. The data on the x-axis is about the kinds of sports, while on the y-axis is about the number of students. The number of students whose favorite sports is basketball is 13, running 5, football 7, tennis 8, and swimming 7. Let us answer the following questions. What is the title of the graph? The title of the graph is letter A. Favorite sports of grade 3 student. Number 2. Which is the most favorite sports of the grade 3 students? The answer is basketball. Number 3. Which is the least favorite sports of the grade 3 students? It is letter A, running. Number 4. Which two sports have the same results? The answer is letter C, football and swimming. Number 5. How many students were asked in the survey? In order to get the answer, you are going to add 13, 5, 7, 8, and 7. And the answer is letter C, 40. Graphs and tables have a title that tells what the graph or table is all about. It has labels containing the contained data. Let us proceed to our learning task number 3. Study the pictograph and answer the questions. Ramirez family donated face masks to their neighboring barangays as part of their advocacy to prevent the spread of the virus. Let us study the pictograph. The title is Donated Face Mask of Ramirez Family. In pictograph, there is a key. Key also means the legend. So one box of face mask is equivalent to 10 boxes of face mask. To get the number of boxes of face mask, we are going to multiply each boxes into 10. So in Barangay Masagana, there are 5 boxes here, multiply by 10, so there are 50 boxes of face mask in Barangay Masagana. In Barangay Pag-asa, there are 4 boxes times 10 is equals to 40 boxes of face mask. In Barangay Masikap, there are 6 boxes times 10 equals 60 boxes of face mask. In Barangay Matulungin, there are 5 boxes multiplied by 10 equals 50 boxes of face mask. And in Barangay Mapayapa, there are 7 boxes of face mask multiplied by 10 equals 70 boxes of face mask. Let us answer the following questions. Number 1. What is the title of the pictograph? The answer is Donated Face Mask of Ramirez Family. Number 2. How many barangays received boxes of face masks? The answer is 5. Number 3. How many boxes of face mask did Barangay Pag-asa received? The answer is 40 boxes of face mask. 
Number 4. Which barangay received the highest number of face masks? The answer is Barangay Mapayapa. Number 5. How many boxes of face masks did the Ramirez family donated in all? There are 270 boxes of face masks. What is pictograph? Pictograph is a type of graph which uses pictures in presenting data. It uses symbols that represent a given number of objects. It also uses a key to show what or how much its pictures represents. Learning task number four. The pictograph shows the number of squash harvested by the farmers. Using the graph, encircle the letter of your choice. Here is the pictograph. The title is Number of Squash Harvested. There is a key. One squash is equal to 50 squash.